What's going on guys? We got five stocks on our list that are really good dip buying opportunities and these stocks can definitely make you a lot of money if you hold it for the long term because uh, they're beaten down uh, and the best time to buy stocks is when um, we're seeing these massive discounts uh, in the price. It means a lot of people are selling, a lot of people are fearful, and what better time to buy stocks is when uh, stocks are dropping and others are fearful. Uh, that's when you should be greedy, which is Warren Buffett's famous quote. Uh, so first stock on our list is going to be Netflix, sitting at a price point of under $200. Now, we've sold cash gear puts on Netflix uh, in the past, collecting some premium, but if you want to just buy and hold shares, uh, Netflix is definitely a good company good stock to buy and hold um and all these stocks on our list uh we're not going to be doing an option strategy these are just five stocks to just buy and hold for the long term um and just wait for that recovery uh because when we see these really big red days uh we usually see some sort of rebound the following week uh because a lot of people uh, follow buffett's advice and they end up buying shares of the stock at a great discount so netflix sitting at two $191 per share. Uh, and as we can see, beaten down heavily over the past year, down negative 62%, highs of $700. Um, so it's a crazy, crazy discount on Netflix stock. And I know a lot of people who uh, were already in Netflix stock are definitely hurting a little bit. Uh, but for those who are not yet in it, uh, and now is a great opportunity to get shares of Netflix at a very cheap price. Now, keep in mind, all these stocks on our list are uh, great dip buying opportunities, uh, and the market just overall is um, in a bear market. A lot of stocks are pulling back. Uh, so if you have cash in the sidelines, make sure to dollar cost average into these stocks, uh, and you can see some really good gains over the long run. So next stock on our list is going to be Amazon. Amazon crushed by earnings, increased volatility, as we can see here. I've picked up some shares of Amazon in my Roth IRA. Uh, just because of how big of a dip this is, Amazon's a solid company. They definitely are uh, going to be here for the for long term, uh, and I really like the price point. So I don't mind buying Amazon shares at this price point, uh, and I will continuously uh, invest in Amazon if the stock continues to dip. And especially since Amazon is undergoing a twenty to one stock split uh, in the future. Uh, so that means the stock price is going to be only a few hundred dollars, going to be pretty affordable for a lot of people. Uh, and I do plan on selling some covered calls on this stock in the future as well. So Amazon, very, very nice company, very nice stock. And it's pretty much all the way back to uh, early 2020 uh, when the price point was 2400 So really good dip opportunity, really good discount. Uh, picks up some, pick up some Amazon shares um, on this dip. Uh, next stock on our list is going to be AMD. And as we can see, we are holding some shares of AMD at 130 price point, but not too worried because if we take a look here. I got a bit of buying power to buy any dips for AMD. So we're going to be buying up some AMD, probably selling some cash geared puts. Um, but AMD, I really like this company. It's been pretty shaky the past year, going from highs of $160, giving up all those gains to $85. And overall, uh, really, really nice company. Very volatile right now because everything's pulling back. But I do see AMD thriving. Uh, they're definitely overtaking Intel. Um, and they're really up and coming uh, in terms of a semiconductor company. Um, so AMD, really good dip buying opportunity. Next stock on our list is going to be PayPal. Sitting at a price point of $88 per share. And it's kind of odd to see PayPal under a $100 price point. Um, just because it's been in the $100 range for some time now. As you can see, down 66% in the past year. Crazy, crazy discount. I love PayPal uh, as a company. I love this dip buying opportunity. Um, and overall, very good, solid company. Uh, I use PayPal regularly for online payments. Uh, it's very, very, very good. Um, take a look at the past five years. It's kind of crazy. It's lower than it was during the pandemic dip. So honestly, I really like this dip buying opportunity going from a price point of around $300 per share to under 100. So PayPal shareholders definitely got crushed, but if you're not already in PayPal, now is a very huge opportunity, golden opportunity in my opinion, for you to pick up some shares at a cheap price. Now, last stock on our list, our fifth one is going to be Meta Platforms, AKA Facebook. 
Uh, and Facebook also got, just like Amazon, got crushed by earnings uh, earlier uh, in the year, going from $300 all the way to $200 per share. Um, and it's kind of staying around this $200 price point. Really, really solid support at the $200 price point. I like Facebook at this price. Uh, and especially with, with, with what they're doing with the metaverse. And if the metaverse does play out, um, they're trying to monopolize it. Uh, if, they, if Zuckerberg is able to do that, then Facebook stock would definitely recover. Um, and overall, a lot of people still use Facebook. I know a lot of the young people don't really have or use Facebook these days. But the older generation is still around. Uh, and they are using Facebook. It's still a great place uh, for people to advertise. Um, so a very, very solid um, company, in my opinion, and very good dip buying opportunity, along with these other stocks on our list. So that's about it for this video. Five stocks, golden dip buying opportunities. Pick up some shares now.